How hard is it to conceal your accent? Ah, well, uh, there's a lot of work that goes into that. And uh, I'm lucky enough that I'm not in the same position I uh, was in when I first arrived. And when I first arrived, 1997, I was doing Oz. I was petrified that I happened to do an American accent in front of Americans and working with Americans. I'm not in that place now. I've worked with um, several voice people over the years. And the first guy was a New York guy who's no longer uh, with us. It was a pity. But right now, I work with uh, Tanner, uh, Tanner Marshall in Chicago, and she taught me the Chicago accent. And um, um, we were having a discussion only the other day. Funny enough, we were in the hotel. And what does Bowden sound like? You know, and we go through all that character stuff. And she got me some tapes of uh, the different chiefs uh, doing their job. And the first voice that we picked up on, and I started doing it, I was like, oh, God, he sounds white. <laughs> That's not going to work. So, and she was like, well, OK, and I'll bring you this other tape. And then we got this black guy, and then we got this. And then suddenly, over the course of time, Bowden's voice came and was developed in a hotel room. And with lots of tapes and, you know, it, hours and hours of breaking it down and the rest of it. So now it's, I can put him on like I'm putting on an old suit. I can go on like Bowden mode. <laughs> but he lives between action and cut. So now you no longer have to undergo the training to get that. Oh, I still, Chicago. I mean. Chicago, is that what it is? I don't, <laughs> I don't not, think I ever had it. I'm not doing it on camera. Oh, not on demand. <laughs> I'm not doing it today. Um, but uh, I, I can put him on like some old clothes and all the rest of it, but it still takes a minute. And Tanner turns up at the ADR and she says, you said that word wrong. Or you have to go and redo that. And those are my days that I hate. Because sometimes they're just Tanner notes. The studio's happy. <laughs> Tanner goes, no, no, no. And I'm in there for like two, three hours fixing it. But anyway, that's Wolf a whole Wednesday. other story. Wolf Wednesday. I Wolf love Wednesday. That. I love that too. You get two extra episodes because of that? Uh, yeah, we all got given uh, extra episodes. There was a certain amount. I think we all got 20. And then uh, I think because of Wednesdays, they've all gone so well. I think they've given us extra. So I'm very, very happy and pleased for everybody. On, on so many different levels that it works. It just gives a comfort level that we own Wednesdays. Um, and it's just that simple. Now, we own Wednesdays. And considering the start, when, you know, you, you know you're boxing from, from the corner, going, I'm a show, and I want to make my way, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that. And we all pump, and we bluster, and we do that. But now, there's a kind of <sighs> Right. And that's good. That's a good feeling. It can get really intense in some of your scenes. How are you guys able to keep it light huh. during the times when you're not shooting, when, if at all? When we cut, we laugh a lot. The intensity is only in between action and cut. The rest of the time, he'll tell you he, he's been he's been there. When you we laugh more than uh, more than most, We're like a bunch of bratty kids most of the time. I think every so often I have to be Bowden for real and go, "Okay, come on, enough." <laughs> And I go. <laughs> but I guess you have to have that levity to get through. Yeah, the you never get through it otherwise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, especially when you see the special makeup. Uh, like Chris Payne does some fantastic stuff, and you know the level the scene needs to be at when he wheels through the person he's been working on for the last 14 hours, sitting in a chair, sticking bits of flesh on him, and then he's painted him and all the rest of it, and you know, you've got a broken femur here or an eye socket that's dropped down, and you're like, oh God, I got to pretend like that's not upsetting my spirit. And, uh, but that, what it immediately does is it says, there's no acting involved. You just, and you, and you drop in. So we're lucky like that. We've got some very good people. We have a well-oiled machine now. Are you a Bears fan? No. You're not. Okay. So you I'm a mad Liverpool when the football okay. supporter. So you weren't mad when the Eagles beat no, the Bears in that no, wild card? That, no, no. I actually, I, was, I wasn't around for that, but I heard all the people I work with, I heard about the post, I heard what it did, I heard the almighty groan. Double <laughs> spiritual, doink. <laughs> the double doink, which I just went, what is that? And they were like, hit the post twice! <laughs> and they were upset. But um, I, I'm a Blackhawks fan. I love the Blackhawks, uh, no matter how they're doing this year. But my real thing is Liverpool Football Club. Of course, yes. Football. Football, yeah. 
Thank you. Oh, wonderful to meet you. Lovely to meet you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. I will have more one on one interviews with the stars of NBC's hit shows all month long on NBC 10 News at 11. And don't forget to check out these videos over here. And please subscribe to our page by tapping the button below.